five, four, three, two. Is what is up, Spilla Beans family? Welcome back to another video. For those who don't know, my name is Steen, and today I'm in the kitchen making puff pastry dough and homemade bagels. How exciting! I even bought a new apron to do these recipes. To go ahead and get the puff pastry started, I'm gonna go ahead and sift all of my dry ingredients in there. It wouldn't be a kitchen video without the sugar cauldron. About 40 minutes before I started my recipe, I popped my stick of butter in the freezer, thinking it would make it easier to grate. but I found myself having trouble with the wrapper and I ended up just cutting it into little pieces and that worked too. I slowly started adding my tablespoons of water until it formed the dough. The recipe called for maybe six tablespoons. I ended up putting, I think 15 and that's how I felt it was kind of dough-like. The texture still seemed weird, After you form your dough into a brick-like shape, wrap it in plastic wrap or whatever you have and pop it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Now that we've let the dough chill for a little bit. All right, everyone, chill. Lightly flour your surface and get to rolling. You want to try to roll it into a rectangle as best as you can, but this is where you're going to get an arm workout. Once you've rolled your dough enough, you want to go ahead and fold it into thirds. You're gonna repeat the rolling and folding process about three to four more times. Honestly guys, that was a workout and I feel like I am not gonna get two sheets of puff pastry like I'm supposed to. I think that's definitely a user error. The test will be when I use the dough. So we'll see. I'm about to try to store it and then I'm gonna roll out this whole other piece. My arms are already sore though. You guys, I was pleasantly surprised at how good this bagel recipe was. I had everything on hand. Flour, yogurt, baking powder. Then just mix everything in your bowl until it starts to form a nice dough. If you have a little extra flour, go ahead and just knead the rest of that in your dough and then split it into two. And then roll each piece out and then form a little bagel. It's really that easy. Before we pop our bagels in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and brush them with a little bit of olive oil. Put your favorite seasoning or topping on them. I did the everything. Although next time, I think I'll dip them in. Then they just go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. 10 seconds later.
with bagels than some scrambled eggs. A strawberry cream cheese on an everything bagel. Just try it. Just try it once. If you don't like it, got it. Not your thing. But just try it and get back to me. I am starving, so I can't even wait. It's actually pretty good. I think I would have added more salt or added some salt to the dough. 